What's up everyone, Takedown here, back with another video. So today I'm gonna to be sharing more of my collection with you guys because I recently completed my Linkin Park CD collection. So let's get right into it. So the first thing that I want to mention with this collection is I didn't get all of the Linkin Park live albums because I'm not a fan of live albums in general. I did pick up one, it was for their last album, One More Light, because that one there has a lot more meaning for me, but everything that is in my collection here for their CDs, it is a complete collection of their studio produced albums. So up first is Hybrid Theory. So for me, whenever I describe Linkin Park, I describe them more as an alternative band, which for me means they do a little bit of everything. It's a mix of music, so they can go from rap to metal to pretty much everything in between. A little bit of soft, a little bit of rock in there that you can tell. So the songs that I love the most on this album are Paper Cut, One Step Closer, and of course Crawling. Those are the most meaningful songs, but I actually love everything that is on this album. Like I said, it is more metal forward, which I've never been fully into metal, but for Linkin Park, I'm a huge fan of it. Next up is Metaurora. Now this one here, the most iconic song is Numb, but this one here I actually got from Walmart a few years ago, and I'm actually really proud whenever I found it to be able to add it to my collection, but this past summer, I also found the original version in a yard sale for $1. So for $1, even though it is a little bit beat up, this one here, even though I already had in my collection because I bought it about a year before I found this one, this is the deluxe version. So it includes the documentary of how they made the album and how they wrote the songs and stuff like that. So even though I do already have the album in my collection, to find this for only $1, even though it is beat up, it does include the documentary. To me, that is an amazing find to add to my collection. Next up is Minutes to Midnight, which the most iconic song off of this one is What I've Done, because that song was the song for the first Transformers movie. So in case you didn't know, some of the members of Linkin Park actually didn't want anything to do with the Transformers movie, but it was Mike Shinoda that actually convinced everybody to be part of the movie because they remembered Transformers being what they watched as a kid, watching the cartoons as a kid, and they wanted to be part of something from their childhood. To me, the fact that they were part of an iconic movie like Transformers and to be the song that was played during the movie, being the most memorable song of the movie, it really drew a lot of attention to their album. Next up is A Thousand Suns. So mine, yes, it is still in the plastic, but that is because I bought it digitally a while ago. Now this album here is a little bit more softer than you would imagine from Linkin Park. It is still a pretty good album, except it is pretty soft compared to their previous work. Next up is Living Things. So again, this is a soft album, but it does have a lot of emotion and meaning behind it, which is what I love when it comes to Linkin Park. Some of my favorite songs in this album include Lost in the Echo, Burn It Down, Lies, Greed, Misery, and Castle of Glass. Those are some of my favorite songs that are in this album. This album here is an amazing album. I'm a huge fan of it. I do love it. And I'm proud that I actually found it because this is actually the last one that I needed to complete my collection. Next up is The Hunting Party, which this album here I'm a huge fan of. I do love most of the songs that are on the album. Some of them are, again, are a little bit too soft for my liking. I don't think the songs are bad, it's just they're not some of my favorite Linkin Park songs. Again, I do love all the songs that are on them, it's just a few that are a little bit too soft for me. This album in total, I would give it probably a 6.5 out of 10. It is just really well done and I do love the album. Next up is the last album that they put out before Chester passed away. So this one came out in 2017 and this one is One More Light. So this one here has a lot of emotion and meaning behind it because the members actually said everything they put into this album was to basically reflect on their life. All of their decisions they've made Throughout life, the most emotional song on this album, at least for me, is One More Light. A lot of people think that Chester wrote this when he was feeling depressed and suicidal with all of the feelings he had before he took his own life. But in reality, he wrote this song with the feelings he had whenever his close friend took his own life and committed suicide. But I do understand why people would think Chester wrote it feeling the way he did before he committed suicide because it was only months after this album came out that he actually committed suicide himself. And the last one here is Linkin Park, One More Light Live. So this one here is the small tour they did over in Europe. 
Now, they were preparing a bigger North American tour for their last album, One More Light. Unfortunately, Chester passed away before they could go and do it. So like I said in the beginning of this video, I normally don't like live CDs. I don't like anything live. But for Linkin Park, for this album here, it sounds amazing. Not only did they perform songs that are on One More Light, but they did perform some of their songs from some of their early albums. And my favorite one that is on this album that they performed is Crawling. Now, Crawling was originally metal, but for their One More Light live album, whenever they performed Crawling, it was very much acoustic, very amazing sounds, very emotional. And whenever I'm listening to it, it always makes me tear up and cry just because it is so emotional and you can really hear Chester's voice of how it is now in the song. It is just amazing. So this has been my complete Linkin Park CD collection. I'm a huge fan. As I mentioned before, I'm a huge fan of Linkin Park. Unfortunately, Chester Bennington did pass away a while ago, so I'm never going to be able to see them perform live, which was something that was on my buck list. But by me having the complete Linkin Park CD collection, I am extremely proud of that. So I am going to leave this video here. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.